In this video, we'll be taking a look at two MLB games happening on October 23rd, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two MLB MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. San Diego Padres vs. Philadelphia Phillies San Diego will try to keep its season alive when it faces Philadelphia in Game 5 of the National League Championship Series on Sunday afternoon. The Padres have lost the last two games in the series, including a 10-6 final on Saturday. They took a 4-0 lead in the first inning, but their pitching did not hold up against the Phillies lineup. The San Diego Padres will look to keep their season alive after falling behind 3-1 in the series with a 10-6 loss to the Phillies on Saturday. Juan Soto had a two-run home run and Brandon Drury also had two RBIs with a double. Manny Machado went 2-4 for four with a solo home run while Ha Seong Kim had an RBI as well, going 2-4 for four at the dish to cap off the scoring for the Padres in the losing effort. Jurix and Profor and Josh Bell each had a base hit as well to cap off the offense for the Padres in the loss. Mike Clevinger gave up three runs on three hits while failing to record an out in the start, but it was Sean Mania that took the loss in relief. Hugh Darvish will get the start for the Padres on the mound in this game. The Philadelphia Phillies will look to win their first NL pennant since 2009 after taking the 3-1 series lead with the win last time out. Reese Hoskins had a pair of two-run home runs for his four RBIs while Bryce Harper added two RBIs with a pair of doubles. Kyle Schwarber and JT Romuto each had a solo home run with Schwarber going two for four at the dish while Nick Casolanos and Bryson Stott each had an RBI to cap off the scoring for the Phillies in the win. Gene Segura also added a base hit as well to finish off the offense for the Phillies in the victory. Bailey Falter gave up four runs in less than an inning in the start while Brad Hand got the win in relief. Zach Wheeler will get the start on the mound for the Phillies in this game. San Diego is 5-2 in their last seven road games against a team with a right-handed starter while the over is 5-2-1 in their last eight road games. Philadelphia is 4-1 in their last five games overall and 7-2 in their last nine National League Championship Series home games while the over is 4-1 in their last five Sunday games. I'll take the best pitcher on the field on Sunday afternoon. Zach Wheeler takes to the bump for the Phillies and he has been excellent as he has struck batters out and gotten out of jams all season long. Wheeler has an earned run average of 1.4 this postseason as he has commanded the strike zone and forced batters into tough at-bats. Darvish has done similar work, but his three earned runs against the Dodgers prove that he is capable of giving up runs. This will allow the Phillies to pounce and do their work effortlessly. so the Philadelphia Phillies money line is our full game side pick. San Diego is down 3-1 to one in this series and needs to win if they want to fight another day. San Diego will turn to Hugh Darvish, who allowed two earned runs over seven innings pitched earlier in this series. Philadelphia will turn to Zach Wheeler, who threw seven scoreless innings earlier in the series. The pitching for both teams will be disgusting as they try to find the rhythm of the game early. Darvish will throw styles and so will Wheeler. This is a perfect opportunity for each team to show their dominance on the pitching mound. The under is 7-3 in Padres' last 10 road games versus a right-handed starter. The under is 5-1 in Philly's last six after scoring five runs or more in their previous game. We saw a massive offensive explosion in Game 4, but with such a solid pitching matchup in Darvish versus Wheeler, I believe that the runs come at a premium once again. I could easily see a 3-2 or 2-1 kind of game in this one. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Houston Astros vs. New York Yankees The Houston Astros play on the road Sunday at Yankee Stadium in Game 4 of their American League Championship Series against the New York Yankees. Houston leads the series 3-0 after defeating New York 5-0 in Game 3 on Saturday. Jarrett Cole suffered the loss for the Yankees. The Astros will send right-hander Lance McCullers Jr. to the mound, while the Yankees will counter with left-hander Nestor Quartz. A victory in Game 4 for Houston sends the Astros to the World Series while a win by New York extends the series to at least a Game 5 on Monday in New York. 
The Astros currently have a 3-0 series lead and can close out the series with a victory in this game. On Saturday, it was the Astros that were able to secure the 5-0 victory. Christian Vasquez was the starter for the Astros at catcher, and he had a nice game, finishing with a two-run single. He also had a run. Charles McCormick also had one hit and two RBIs. The Astros did get 5.1 innings from Javier, but they also used plenty of the bullpen. Five different bullpen members pitched. For the Yankees, they only finished with three hits as a team. Jared Cole went five innings for the Yankees, and they also used three bullpen members. On the mound for the Astros will be Lance McCullers, who sits with a 0-0 record and an earned run average of zero. In his last start against the Seattle Mariners, he went six innings, giving up two hits and zero runs. If McCullers is pitching well, look for him to go deep in this game. On the mound for the Yankees will be Nestor Quartz Jr., who sits with a 1-0 record and an earned run average of 2.7. In his last start against the Cleveland Guardians, he went five innings, giving up three hits and one run. Over his last three starts, he has given up three runs. It will be all hands on deck in this game, so if Quartz JR does struggle early, I would expect him to be pulled early. The Astros are 5-0 in the last five playoff games and 5-0 in their last five American League Championship Series games. Houston is 40-15 in their last 55 overall. Meanwhile, the Yankees are 56-22 in their last 78 at home and 30 13 to 6 in their last 19 playoff games at home. New York is 6 to 18 in their last 24 American League Championship Series games. The New York Yankees are all but done and the season is nearly over after losing game 3 and falling behind 3 to 0 in the series. Winning 4 straight against a talented opponent such as Houston is nearly impossible. In addition, New York's attitude will be at an all-time low after its loss on Saturday knowing their backs are squarely against the wall and must win four straight or go home for the winter. Houston's pitching has been the big difference as the Astros are receiving solid starting pitching and excellent performances from their bullpen. Following their victory on Saturday, Houston has won each of its six postseason games as well as eight overall. Houston extended its winning streak to six straight versus the Yankees. It's been a while since McCullers has stepped on a mound. He last pitched October 15th in the 18-inning marathon win 1-0 versus Seattle. McCullers managed two hits and two walks with seven K's and six innings in that one and he should be able to post another quality outing in Game 4. As for Quartz, he should be able to put up some solid numbers as well. Quartz is coming off a five-inning performance with three hits and one earned in a win over Cleveland. I like both starters to put up quality outings in Game 4, but I just don't trust the Yankees' offense to come through for the win. So the Houston Astros' money line is our full game side pick. New York can't score and Houston does not score enough to push the game over. The Yankees have scored a total of four runs in three games versus Houston and the total has finished under in each of the first three games of the series and dating back to the Cleveland series the total has finished under in each of New York's last five games. The total has finished under in six of Houston's last seven games and in 15 of the last 19 games that the Astros have played against a team from the American League East. The Yankees are 7-1 to to the under in the playoffs and 3-0 to to the under in this series. Houston is 5-1 to to the under as well and that won't change in this spot. The Yankees lineup has been painfully compromised without DJ LeMahieu, Andrew Benintendi and a clearly compromised Matt Carpenter. Their only chance to score will be via the long ball and the team's three big boppers, Rizzo, Judge and Stanton, are all hitting under .200 in the playoffs. Houston will turn to their bullpen and turn this game into another low-scoring affair. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.